Today, in a new Touch Designer tutorial, we're going to create bright lines. Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain you how to create this tutorial um, that I call bright lines. It's not complicated. We're going to use a circle, change to a, a square, instancing the elements and then a lot of effects. So, as always, going to select everything and delete. First, we need to create a um, circle. And the cool about circle, I don't find, um, there it is. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Okay, uh, for the circle, we can change the division so we can create different shapes. In this case, four. We need a geometry, then a camera. Okay, we don't need a light because we're going to use a line material. And we need a render, 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 cool. And then we need to connect this to a null. And we name this to odd one. Preview this. We need to use add a transform just for put a background in the background. And we change the size of the render. Will be me that parent. Um, that part that. Are that overview copy enter and paste it and we need to change the line we need to change the stroke for 18 and the color now it's like gray we need white cool so after that we need to work with the instancing uh, but first we need to know how many we want how many change uh, shapes uh, we're going to use duplicate and we want 20. So we start with a pattern and the pattern will be here. Change duplicate and we animate this because we can animate it with ABS time that seconds multiply zero dot zero twenty five. Yes, a small number. Us. Yes, and going to channel TX and copy this three times because the second will be TY, third is set, and it will be scale. I'm going to move just for better uh, order and uh, for select everything pattern. Okay, TY will be cosine and T set. Again, cosine. I'm going to connect everything to a merge. Just see what's going on. Sorry. There and there. Connect this to a null. And connect. Sorry, we're going to put a number here. Instance C. Okay. Connect this to instance and, and enable this. They put in default. Put dx, ty, and this. Set and the scale to all of this the same. Okay, so cool. And we're going to play with this. Um, going to you uh, add a math to TX or TY and for the scale. And if you don't see what's going on, we can create here a shop too. So this is going to happen in the shape, but we're going to change that. So as you can see, the numbers go to between minus one to one. So in the range, we're going to use minus one to one between minus zero to five, to five. The same for x y, sorry t t y, and minus five, and this is positive. And for the scale, we need again minus one between zero dot five to five. And what else? Oh, sorry, I changed something. We need to change the scale of the circle, will be zero dot zero nine between zero dot zero nine. So um, we have that. But uh, the cool thing is. 
we can change this and we can see what's going on. Okay. And I'm going to use the same as the, the example. And you can play with this and see what things that you can create. Uh, for TY would be two. Um, for T set would be zero that thirty five and scale. I think it's okay. Just one, not too much. And we have this weird area with a lot of squares, so we can change the it's like zoom in of the this area. Maybe seven or one seven. Okay, one six. Okay, we have this, and now uh, we continue with the all the effects. And we're going to start with here at a blur because we want to create that effect like a light. So a blur will help us a little bit. So we have these two shapes. It's not a big blur, but it's okay. And then we need to add a few of transparency. Well, no, it's opacity in different areas. And for that, we need to create a noise. And for the noise, we need to change a few things. Okay, first, we need to the same resolution as the parent. We need to change neighbor's pixel, neighbor's pixel. And we need an alpha, 32 uh, RGBA. And the output, we need zero. So we have the alpha channel. This will be a for the noise. We're going to change the period. We don't need too much harmonic. We need to not too noisy. And the harmonics, yeah, too much. We need to add not too much um, contrast. But we can play with the maybe the amplitude. Okay, bye. Yeah, and the offset. Yeah, here we fix the contrast. Okay, something like that. After that, we can create a composite and connect this to here. And the composite will be reflect. And you can see this, but we can change the noise to, to the top. So we have this. You can see when they put together the lines. The, uh, we can create this weird like, effect of light. And we need to put more light, maybe a level. Level, level, level. Sorry, I write it wrong. Level here. We put more intensity to that areas. And you can, again, try it to figure it out what is the best for you. And then I'm going to add a transform so you can see a better way how this is going on. So see, so we have this. And I'm going to add a null for finish this process. Sorry, here. Okay, so we have this alpha thing. And after that, we need to create a feedback. Feedback because we need more information, and the best way to do it is with a feedback. And we need a keyboard in for reset the feedback. We need a and move here. Then we need a transform. Then it, we need a level. We need a composite. We need to put together with an over, over, over. And we connect the feedback here and always uh, don't be scared with this. We change the opacity of this. Yeah, maybe not much, something like that. So don't worry, you're going to fix all these elements uh, with the transform. We play with the scale. So I'm going to change that. So you can see we create these lines or oh, I don't know, shadows, memory, some from there so that is cool and then um, i'm going to put an all here for remember this is the end of this process that will be the feedback 
Okay, now we continue with color. For color, I'm going to copy the same the example. The same. So copy this. And we're going to use uh you can try with uh lookup or or composite in my case works better with um composite and we select overlay and connect. So cool, we have our color and then uh, I always uh, at the final at level and sometimes I'm going to show you level because we can fix uh, maybe we more than we can fix is we can add more things and uh, maybe brighter and we can add contrast yeah much better maybe three yeah, I like this. And I like to add this one. Uh, this one because we can saturate more. And we can play. Maybe I like this other color for now. But you can see other combination. And there it is. Uh, <laughs> it's not a um, long, a complex tutorial. It's just trying to discover how we can use a lot of composite and you can play maybe what have if we put a lot of noises the cool thing is with a lot of noises you create these things or maybe not or maybe you want 10 and see what happened how or how did that effect well maybe maybe it's not too much maybe it's five yeah something like that or we can play yeah, this is too much. Maybe not, maybe three. And yeah, and then uh, you can play with the distance of this, maybe. Um, oh, oh, I prefer with the scale, maybe it's 10. So, yeah, go too big, go too small. And yeah, um, I hope you like it. And if you have any question, just uh send me a message on patreon youtube or instagram and see you in the next tutorial bye